My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous friends and fans. I am your host, Nadia Shaw, and this is Synchronicity, and welcome to your moment of synchronicity. I am here with David Cochran of David Cochran 100 on YouTube, where he's got tons of free astrology lessons, and he's explaining all types of things to people to help them learn astrology, but also help them to learn astrology software. Thank you so much for being here, David. Hey, Nadia. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. This is a blast. That's this all happened so spontaneously. Yes. I can't... You know, here we are. <laughs> Those are the best types of episodes when they're totally, totally like gorilla and like, yes, let's do this right now. <laughs> yeah, I just went up to your table and said, hi, Nadia, I like your videos and said, well, let's make one. All right, so here we are. Let's go for it. Well, yes, because you're doing a lot of interesting things online as well. You have astrology lessons online for free for people on YouTube. So tell me about that, those astrology lessons. Well, uh, just in this first half year of 2013, I've put up over 50 videos. I've been cranking these out like two a week. Mm. They're usually about a half hour long. So this is a lot of material. And it's free. YouTube is free. What's not to like about that? And if I don't say so myself, I think they're pretty darn good. Uh, you know, stuff on on introduction to astrology, harmonic astrology, ancient techniques like primary directions, all kinds of cool stuff. So check it out, lots of free videos. And I also have videos on our software that we develop, Kepler and Sirius Astrology software. Some of it's on theory, so it's lots of fun. So tell me, what are the most popular uh, videos or what videos have gotten the most feedback so far? Oh, that's a good question. You know, one of them is uh, a video on planet mandalas. Now, these planet mandalas are actually the motions of the planets in the sky um, in a way that it's not, it doesn't just look like an egg shape, right? You're seeing it from the Earth's point of view and how it changes over time. They're, they become beautiful artistic renditions of what's going on, natural phenomena. And I'm getting lots of feedback, not only from astrologers, but astronomers and other people just fascinated by it. That's one, one example. Also, introduction to relocational astrology. A lot of students of astrology love that. We get a lot of positive feedback about that. Uh, and also the introduction to the software. Like we have an introduction to serious software. That one gets lots of hits. So, you know, I started off at the beginning of the year. And, you know, YouTube tells you how much. There were like 10 minutes a week, right? Now it's over 12,000 minutes. I got over 150 people following it. So people are loving it. Hey, it's great stuff. And, they're, you know, lots of other people are great stuff too. So lots, lots to get there. And it's always great, no matter what level of astrology you're at, you know, I always say foundations can be made stronger. And so videos like this, I think it's so valuable on the one hand, because I'm all about the energy. And right. so you're putting this energy out there of education of something that really matters to both of us. Right. And then at the same time, this is also very practical. It's like showing people techniques on how to actually do it. So it yeah. becomes educational. Yeah, L Let me say something with it, because you hit the nail on the head. One of the things I like about these videos is that very often we learn astrology. Like, here's what Aries means, here's what a trine is, here's what a square is. And then you go online, find some software, or buy something, then you have to apply the idea. Well, why not just show the whole package? Like, here's what a trine is, here's how you see it in the chart, here's how you look at it. So it's down to earth, it's practical, here's how you do this stuff. Some of the things are beginners, some are intermediate, some are advanced. But you know what's also interesting? Some of the things that are very advanced can be, are often understood better by beginners because they're so advanced that we get stuck in a rut. So like I have videos on harmonic astrology. Well, if you've been trained to think these are the aspects and this is how it works, and then I start telling you, no, you can also look at it this other way. You go, what do you mean, my teacher, I learned it this way. So anyway, don't be afraid of the advanced stuff even if you're a beginner, okay? <laughs> There's just lots of good stuff down there. Check yeah. it out. You have that child's mind, that beginner's mind that allows you when you're a beginner to really absorb new ideas. Yeah, some people blame it on my moon in Gemini and Uranus in the third house. But yeah, I'm a kid. 
<laughs> and that's that's the best way to live as a kid. I know some people say I have that quality as oh, well. You do. I can see that. <laughs> well, David, thank you so much for this moment with you and for introducing my audience to your channel <laughs> and to all the amazing things you do online. Thank you. All righty, Nadia. Thank you so much. It's really been fun. And thank you so much for being here to celebrate David Cochran with me. Until we connect again, take care.